All right, in this video, I'm just going to do another example of solving an absolute value inequality. Um, and again, again, depending on the type of inequality we have, we'll have to set up different inequalities uh, that we end up to, to solve to find our solutions. So in this case, we have the absolute value of 1 plus 6x and then plus 4 less than 12. Usually the first thing I try to do is to get the absolute value by itself. So I'm going to do that by subtracting 4 from both sides. Then we have the absolute value of 1 plus 6x is less than 8. And again, now, um, if we go back to our little checklist here, it says if you have the absolute value of something greater than or equal to b, well, you do this. But we've got the second case. We've got the absolute value of something that's less than a number. Um, so what we do is, again, we basically just remove the absolute value, take the stuff in the uh, absolute value, and put it in between the positive and the negative of the given number. So in this case, I just take 1 plus 6x less than positive 8 greater than negative 8. So to solve, I can simply subtract 1 from both sides. I'll get negative 9 is less than 6x is less than 7. And now I can simply divide everything by 6 and I'll get a, a solution here. So on the left, I can reduce that and make it negative 3 halves, less than x, less than 7 over 6. So in terms of interval notation, I can write this as negative 3 halves, comma, uh, up to 7, 6. Parentheses around those because we can't, uh, we, we don't include those values in our solution. <coughs> so another little uh, Another little one here. Suppose we have 3 times the absolute value of x plus 6 plus 7. Um, I'm going to subtract 7 from both sides first. That'll leave me with 3 times the absolute value of x plus 6. Uh, 40 minus 7 is 33. Uh, at this point, what I'm going to do, just to get rid of the 3, is I'm going to divide both sides by 3. So now I have the absolute value of x plus 6 is less than 11. And again, now the same thing. For this type of inequality, I just remove, whoops, I didn't do it. I just remove the absolute value. And then I say it's less than positive 11, but greater than negative 11. So again, to solve this compound inequality, I'm just going to subtract 6 everywhere. That's going to give me negative 17 is less than x. Uh, 11 minus 6 is positive 5. So again, this is my solution. In interval notation, we could write that with parentheses from negative 17 up to positive 5. So maybe, uh, well, uh, we'll do so one more in another video, and uh, so stick around if you want to see that one.